It's so big and cozy. But I made it over myself. <laughs> I've never been you do things that make me up my been. channel in today's video I thought I would share my cozy favorites so I asked on my Instagram if you guys wanted to see a Sephora VIB recommendations or a cozy at home favorite and it was pretty 50 50 so I thought let's just film both so here I am filming the cozy favorites and then I'm gonna film the Sephora VIB recommendations afterwards so can I ever go a video without sirens or bells or something? Like, I don't think that exists. So, um, I have a mix of skincare, beauty, wellness, supplements, books, just a bunch of stuff. So, without any further ado, let's get into all of the goodies. We don't really care about making our hair look nice. My hair has like 20 layers of dry shampoo in it right now. Um, so that is why I have to recommend the Kaya Naturals, the Takasumi Detox Overnight Dry Shampoo. This is in the Blonde. They also have a brunette. I've used both with my blonde hair. I really don't think it makes that much of a difference. The pigment is very minimal. Um, perhaps if you are brunette, the blonde might be a little bit too light. Um, but that's just what I found. Now, this is great because it is 100% natural, and I also find it a lot safer than some of the other dry shampoos out there. If you wanna know a little bit more about dry shampoos, I do have a interview with the founder of Kaya Naturals, and she kinda goes into detail about how dry shampoo can be really harmful for a scalp and to go for a more natural route. That being said, you can still use too much dry shampoo, whether it's natural or not. It can cause the follicles to get blocked, and therefore you might find that your hair, basically your hair growth stunts. So that is leading me to my next favorite, which is the Goop Detox Himalayan Salt Shampoo Scrub. No, I can't even say it so long. Himalayan Salt Scalp Scrub Shampoo. So this is a nice big tub of a shampoo that you can use intermittently. I almost use it every single time, but it's more of like a treatment shampoo that has these little uh, pink Himalayan salt particles in here that helps you exfoliate your scalp to get rid of any scalp buildup, which could be kind of suffocating your hair follicles, causing a stunt in your hair growth, or just your scalp feeling kind of gross. So definitely recommend that when you hop in the shower, you use a exfoliating shampoo. The next hair product I have is a hair mask. I feel like hair masking is so amazing, especially the ones that you have to leave in your hair for like several hours and Sometimes we just don't have the time for that. This one you only have to leave in your scalp for approximately 20 minutes, but it doesn't hurt to do it longer. So this is the Organic Color System Power Build Treatment, and this is a protein building mask. It's a natural, professional grade mask that you apply to your damp hair. And what I'll do is I'll shampoo my hair, get out of the shower, apply this, and just kind of leave it in my hair while my hair is wet, and I'll just put a robe on and just like watch a TV show or read a book or watch some YouTube videos, and then I'll hop back in the shower to rinse the rest of it out. And this is really good if you have color treated hair, blonde hair, bleached hair, damaged hair, dry hair. It's really, really good at restoring, and it has saved my blonde hair. Okay, so a few other things face masks again like i feel like when you think of like cozy at home self-care like masks are just like the first thing that come into your mind so i've got a couple here i have the audacity bioactive rose gommage now this is a bit of a newer product for audacity it's kind of got like a little bit of a jelly like consistency you can use it as a gommage or you can use it as a mask that you rinse off it is both an exfoliating mask as well as a hydrating mask it has pineapple which is the enzymes that are going to kind of very gently exfoliate your skin and then hyaluronic acid to help plump and hydrate your skin so this is a good one and then the other one I've been loving lately is the Osea this is the white algae mask they have a few of these I think they have the white the red and the black the white red and black is kind of like a uh, different levels of intensity so this one is the most 
calming mask I would say the gentlest mask so I really like this because I can leave it on my skin for extended period of time without getting irritated um, whereas the black flash mask like I have to leave it on for like maybe three minutes and take it off because my skin gets so red because it's so active but this one I can leave on my skin for like 20 30 minutes it's very good at I find like brightening and toning my skin and making it just look super fresh so I've been loving this and then the other two masks are sheet masks and under eye masks so the Joanna Vargas sheet masks are just some of my favorites so I have the Eden Instant lift mask which is for brightening and firming and then i also have the bright eyes hydrating mask which are like really nice jelly pads that you put under your eyes to help just kind of like hydrate and brighten under your eyes so both of these are so amazing i love the joanna vargas ones and i purchased my joanna vargas products off of socialite beauty and then for body care i have two I have the Lena Hansen Global Body Serum. This is so good because it's a really lightweight serum that you can either apply in the morning after your shower so you don't want something super heavy on your skin, but it's also a very good layering. So just as like you would layer products on your skin, on your face, I do that with my body. So I'll apply my body serum and then I'll go in with a thicker cream like this one, which is the Detox Mode Infinite Creme, which has a combination of aloe, shea butter, and blue tansy. And blue tansy is amazing for any inflamed skin, so I find to have really irritated skin, especially after shaving. So the aloe vera, the blue tansy, everything's going to be amazing for irritated, sensitive skin. Even if you get sunburnt, this stuff is amazing because of all the super anti-inflammatory ingredients in here. It smells divine it's super super thick so it's a great one to apply before bed the last kind of like body product i have is a body brush this is the joanna vargas i think it's called ritual brush and i love body brushing it's a great kind of habit to pick up before you go on your shower it's going to improve lymphatic drainage it's also going to really help exploit your skin so if you have any dry skin um this has been a savior for me. So let's talk aromatherapy. Now, I am such a lover of just having something in the background, whether that's incense, candles, or essential oils. So I'm gonna share some of my few favorites. Um, candles, I have so many favorites. This one is the Goop Edition number two. It is a very expensive candle. It's kind of a more luxe candle. It looks so good because it's just like a very minimalist, black, super chic, candle this one has much more of a musky woodsy scent so if you really like that i highly recommend this if you want a more luxury candle another really great brand that i love is um the wick witch and they are a ontario local um company if you want to support a canadian brand I highly recommend purchasing from wick witch because they all do it in-house and they're pretty affordable they're about like $25 I believe per candle and they all are so amazing so I definitely recommend Wick Witch um, and then for incense this is another Toronto brand this is called Incense Republic and I have a couple of these so if you prefer incense these are amazing this is in the liberation scent and it's warm coconut notes mixed with peach and vanilla and these smells so heavenly and then the incense holder i use is from urban outfitters it's so cute it's this little moon set you can see right there is where the incense goes in and then there's also a little place here and then if you are a diffuser gal i have this diffuser from sage sage is where i've gotten all my diffusers in all of my essential oil blends so this is a really nice kind of black marble diffuser and then this is a little set that was available kind of closer to the holiday season and it's all is calm and it basically has some more of their relaxing diffuser blends so they have tranquility um they have dream state and peaceful slumber so i really like this set because it's all like they're calming and kind of like self-care relaxation lens okay so that is it for like scents now let's talk kind of like supplements and other food products this is the Vital Proteins Matcha Collagen. Now I have been loving making my own matcha lattes and I have been using this matcha 
to create that. So I'll do like bulletproof matches that have a combination of this, the best MCT oil, which is the Good Goddess Fantastic Fat MCT oil. And this is a Toronto brand, again, supporting local um, if you guys live in Ontario um, or Toronto or Canada, <laughs> whatever. So love this brand. Um, you can get it locally, but I've been purchasing mine off of well.ca. And then the Vital Protein Matcha Collagen. I really like this because it's going to give you not only the matcha, but you're getting that collagen. So you're kind of having like a beauty booster super drink. And then I'll usually just froth some cashew milk and put a little bit of Manuka honey in for some sweetness. Other supplements I have been literally taking these every single day um, as well as some other supplements but this stuff is just amazing this is by well told health another canadian brand um this is the stress fighter now this is basically a blend of adaptogens and we have reishi lion's mane mataki and that's it a vegan capsule shell so basically adaptogens or these ones specifically are really good at kind of balancing your stress hormones kind of making you a little bit more relaxed and fighting off stress so I know this is a very stressful time high like anxiety and this has been really helping to I think just maintain my stress levels at a reasonable level and then tea I actually have two teas one of which I actually finished so i'll put a picture right here and it is by lake and oak which i believe again is a canadian brand anyways so good you get loose leaf tea and i just put it in my little contraption steeper whatever it is um and mix a little bit of coconut sugar in there and it's just like the best chai and it has adaptogens in it it's a chaga coconut chai so good you get off wealth.ca um the other one i really like is the aveda comforting tea and i just ran out of this but this stuff is amazing if you ever had aveda tea it's so so good some books because i feel like everyone's kind of just like reading and just relaxing um first of all there's a journal this is the five minute journal i feel like this is a great opportunity to take up journaling and if you're not someone who just likes having like free thoughts this is a really good kind of like guided journal so it has an i am grateful for a what would make today great a daily affirmation which you do in the morning and this grayed out section is actually for your nighttime reflection so it's three amazing things that happened today and what could have made today better so i really like this uh, it has like a really beautiful linen cover so this is like a personal development book it's how to love yourself and sometimes other people this was such a good read it's got two different authors um so they've co-written this and you can hear or read both of their different perspectives a female and a male and i just found this a really good read when i did read it i think i'll actually reread this but it was just like a really feel good book especially if you're kind of struggling on like the self-love journey the next book i have is a book that i read in the summer that was such a good thriller and this is the au pair by emma roos and i really enjoyed this if you guys kind of like those like thriller fiction books then i think you should pick this one up um a good non-fiction book for all of my skincare beauty lovers out there this is the skincare bible your non-nonsense guide to great skin so it really just helps break down kind of like all the different things that you might apply to your skin maybe different um, skin disorders or skin issues and honestly this was such an informative book it taught me a lot that i know now about skincare so if you're looking just to kind of like learn a little bit more i do recommend this the spirit and the magic i really like this book i really like the law of attraction i really into spirituality and just like manifesting and how what your thoughts are do manifest basically life and so i started rereading this because i felt like this is a time where like you kind of get like down in the dumps and you're your mind trails off to negative thoughts so it's kind of good to just kind of reframe your mindset and retrain your brain into realizing and recognizing when you're having negative thoughts and just kind of switching that off and trying to change it to a positive so i really do enjoy these books a few other things i do have some cozy things like this really cute knit blanket now you guys may be surprised or not, but I actually hand knit this myself. So not only is this super cozy, like, oh, 
but it's also a really really fun project to do when you're at home so just i ordered this yarn off of I think it was yarn canada but i will definitely leave it down below um if you guys are canadian and i just purchased a bunch off of there based off of how many like yards i needed i just ordered how many rolls i would need for the certain project i was doing and then i just i think i used a youtube video and i just followed it and it's not arm knitting it's literally just like kind of using your hands to make these different knots and i love it you can see it's like kind of that braided and then on the other side it looks like that so this is i think like a wool blend so it was pretty affordable and i love it so big and cozy okay so a few other things i've been loving in are these crew necks they're just like these plain black sweater crew necks they're actually by the brand hanes and there are the men's and i got them off of amazon for think 12 or 13.99 and they're so comfortable i just get like a size extra small or small in men's and it fits a kind of like nice and oversized so affordable and really cute especially if you're into that like whole sweatpant look but you don't want to spend a ton of money um and then just big oversized sweaters like the one i have on as well as this one right here both of these are from h&m and i feel like h&m is such a good place right now to be purchasing like oversized cozy knit sweaters and they're really affordable right now because i think we're like transitioning into spring so a lot of their sweaters are on sale and then the last thing is a robe and i have this amazing comfy robe from barefoot dreams if you guys don't own anything from barefoot dreams oh my god you're missing out it's so soft and cozy i have this like kind of purple color so soft so cozy i love putting it on after my shower and then just like hanging around the house and it's like the best robe ever and then i forgot to mention this with the tea but these mugs they're the best they're like these really nice large hello <laughs> large glass mugs from ikea so they're really affordable i think they're two or 3.99 and i love just holding them i think they look so pretty and they're great for teas and coffees and your matcha lattes i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys got some inspiration to stay cozy and kind of just take care of yourselves and yeah thanks so much for watching you guys and hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and that's it bye guys